Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, <laughs> Lena. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with part two of the five part series of who shot ghosts. We're not even gonna say who murdered ghosts, who killed yeah. ghosts, because uh -huh. at this point, we kind of know how Courtney rolls. She yeah. says stuff without saying stuff, but I will honestly say that I was expecting to be disappointed by this episode. I wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was but I was annoyed. Yeah. There's yeah. a difference. It was yeah. a good episode, but I was so freaking annoyed that at the end I was like, just walk a freaking way, either be heartbroken and broke, or be heartbroken with some money. Because <laughs> at the end of the body, day, man. you getting on my goddamn nerves. Hey. Eyes. Hey. But we're gonna get into it. But before we get into it, a whole lot of you all have been looking for the cousin, Mike yeah, B. Yeah, Mike Boy. Um, and we already knew that Mike B had taken a YouTube break. He is experiencing what us YouTubers know as the YouTube burnout. burnout. Mm -hmm. So I actually thought he was going to come back for power, but we spoke to him this week. And he was like, fam, just keep me lifted up in prayer because I, <laughs> I don't feel like coming back and my heart just ain't in it right now. We know how Mike B is it because he's just like us. If we don't feel it, feel it, feel it, mm -hmm. you can't force us to do it. Yeah. So y'all keep Mike B lifted up. He is fine. Yeah. He is just in a burnout and he's taking a YouTube social media break to regroup. And when he come back, Y'all yep. know how he do. But, yeah. but if y'all want to drop down in the comments and leave your comments for Mike B, tell him, hey, encourage him, do whatever, because he does look from behind the scenes, you know. Yeah. So uh, let's get into this episode. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Brandon. I actually met him on New Year's Eve. At the adult at, beverage store. Yeah, <laughs> at the ABC store. So thank you, bro, for, you know, reaching out. Because some people will just look at you and won't say nothing in public. You'll be like, why is they looking at me? like that. Or they'll send you an email yeah. later on and yeah, be like, I saw you did before. I see you at the beauty supply store? Why you just ain't roll up on me and be like, hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to you, Brandon, bro. So, as we can see, Paul, Paul's was on one this episode, which I understand. Because when I lost my daddy, all kind of stuff was going through my head. Like, the doctors killed him. Um, they didn't go to the hospital in time. You know, yada, yada, all the stuff was going through my you head. You want something that's going to make you yeah, feel, feel better. better. Yeah, and your, and your mind always seeks closure. So that's why, you know, we back for these five episodes. So if Power never left us with ghosts, who shot ghosts, mine's are the tell. A lot of us probably wouldn't have came back. Because we probably, I don't even care. But yeah. we want to find out who shot them. So uh, we see Mr. John Mock then came back for some reason from D.C. I don't know if they in D.C. or they in New York. But Warner is talking to him, well, manipulating him mm -hmm. to get for information so he can take down Sacks because he's sick of Sacks. <laughs> like Warner's all of us. sick of everybody. Yeah, so he pretty much manipulated him to get some information. But I was like, how is John Mock just going to show back up without no got no lead in? You know, we just... He, he just, just here. He just he just show he, up. He caught the red eye. Yeah. But it, they should have had him show up on that sidewalk with some seeds. Y'all know on Fast and the Furious where he was tearing them seeds up. They just should have had that in there for comedic relief. At least I would have been like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But it was pointless. Yeah. They must have owed him a check. Must have. Yeah. <laughs> or or another uh another shot. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so pa, uh, Pa's first visit was Tasha. Was like, you know, ghost and burnt both of us. It's time for us to take him down. Tasha was like, I hate him just as much as you do. But I got, but I got kids. And, you know, this ninja is still kicking in to help me. You know, he done took everything I got. <laughs> you know, I don't even need no pockets. Like Kevin Hart did and said, I don't even need no pockets. He took, she took everything. everything. So she got that little apartment she got now. But uh, he must be kicking in and helping her when she fall in that show. She was like, so if I take him out now, I definitely ain't going to have nothing. But this time, Paul's like, I don't care. You know, he killed my sister. So we need to take him down. When Tasha was like, you know what? You just need to walk away. Because he always went, which is true. It makes no difference what ghosts do. You know, he going to get he away with it. on top. So she was actually giving her some good freaking wisdom. And I was like, yep. Yeah, yeah Paul's, I know you hurt. But yeah, go and walk away. Go and walk away. And then when I found out, you know, because we hadn't had too much exposure with her son and, um, and her, her dad. Father, yeah. So they kind of zoomed in on that. So I understood that she was trying to, you know, get this money that, that Angela for Angela's death to be able to take care of her family because her son hadn't even been able to go back to college because they ain't got no money for the semester. So every he, day he at the house playing nurse. 
to yeah. the daddy because they can't afford to pay the nursing home bill. Exactly. I was like, dang, so this is a big trickle effect. Yeah, and so she pretty much running around all day trying to, you know, solve her sister's death to get to justice and telling the son that I'm going to, you know, talk to them every day. So the government gave me the check and was like, you know, they said it's still being, it's still in process. He said, you know how the government is, you just wait. Yeah, so eventually he started seeing, you know, seeing her bull skin. So, she comes up with this grand scheme. It was like, I know you want your sister back. But she was like, she went to Warren and said, if I can get you some hard evidence, can you take down ghosts? And immediately, I said, I, it better <clears throat> not be what I think it is. Yeah. It got done it. And... The burner phone that she hid in, in Angela's casket. And he was like, well, he was kind of reluctant in doing it at first. But then he went along with it. But I was like, no. So y'all saw it. They dug her up, got the burner phone, came back, couldn't get nothing because the sim was destroyed. Which serves right. It's a burner phone. I mean, yeah. it's supposed to be untraceable. You know, so you so people can't come. So the only thing they had was some bunch of outgoing stuff. They don't prove anything. And they were all like one word or one liners. You couldn't really piece nothing together without someone collaborating the story yeah. on the other end. So you done dug up your sister for, no, for reason. no reason. But not only did you dig up your your sister for no reason, now you have implicated her in a whole bunch of skit, which cancels out. Yeah. Her policy, her pension, exactly. all of that. Gets so nothing. now you really don't buck your family while trying to take ghosts down. You're taking your own family down. Yep. And how she did that, what y'all saw, was she came with a broad idea. Let me wear a wire and go talk to him because I know I can convince him to crack or to say something wrong. One was like, you know what? He done been through all of us. <laughs> Even the professionals can't get this dude to crack. So what make you, you think? Be able to do it. What make you think he gonna crack? So she tried. She tried, but Ghost is not that stupid. He knew. Yeah, but she. He did. He did say one thing that was gonna help in the case, but that's what hurt her when he said was your your sister helped keep me and my family out of prison. So when he said that, that's what canceled the benefits. I was like, God darn it. They didn't even want to hear nothing else. No. Uh -huh. He was like. Yep, she done you, bucked yep. up the church's money, you as fucking Don Neva would say. You done bucked up that check. And here's the part that got me, which I know she's really desperate now. After that, she went to go see Tommy. Like, Tommy, I need your help. I need you to kill Ghost. And Tommy was like, whoa, uh, whoa. whoa uh, about that. About that. I ain't gonna be able to do that. I ain't gonna be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's you. Yeah, you the dude to kill. So she pulled out this whole wad of money. I'm gonna pay you. And I was like, wait, we get all that money from? But she did just cash her check. Yeah, you know how people, you know how people do it on Instagram and Facebook. You know how the money lay on the bed, or they got the wild money out like this. Got the hundred on. Hey, I know that's your paycheck, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just go and put it in the bank for a turn up missing. Yeah. So uh, Tommy had to end up kicking her out, cause I was like, cause she said you told me at the funeral if I ever need anything, I come talk to you. Everybody says that. <laughs> Even Warner said. I mean it. Yeah, you don't. You you do, but you don't. But you don't. You know, we was at we was at uh, BJ's last night. <laughs> not not the warehouse. The, the restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> and uh, I guess he was a supervisor. Came around to the table oh and was like, God. "How's everything? Everything is good." And he asked us, "Is there anything I can get you?" But I could see the way he walked over to our thing, like his feet was hurting. I could see he was saying, please don't ask me to go back in that kitchen again. <laughs> to get you naked. <laughs> so, it sounded good for him to say, whatever y'all, can, can I get y'all something? But he really didn't want us to ask him for it. So, that pretty much what Tommy was saying, the right thing at a time of tragedy. You know, you say the right stuff. Mm -hmm. Then it comes time to deliver. No. So, Tommy uh -huh. won't go home. So, he kicked out. After she left uh, talking to Tommy, uh, this dude named Steve, his name was Steve. He was a part of the Democratic Party. Yeah, the Democratic, party. Um, Steve I, Stephen I from the Democratic Party. So he working with Ghost in the campaign. So he busts in the office and uh, mm. tells uh, Mr. Warner, 
uh, isn't the ghost case closed? Uh, he was like, yeah. So you need to stop everything you're doing and attempting to do a thing about doing. You need to stop today. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. that's my dude. Yeah. Pretty much. Exactly. And if you ever want to come up behind him, you really need to stop. Exactly. And walk down like a boss. I said, is this how politics work for real? Yeah, we know it do. Yeah. <laughs> and so that only kind of got his wheels turning. And he went to go see the judge that, that's just like, he just so sick of all of them right now. <laughs> they don't stress that man smooth so he, out. So he had the cigar bar trying to get his smoke on. And here he come in there buying him. I don't know what was on the plate. Some I was, Cubans yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't, it, don't, it don't even matter. But he was like, we have the evidence that we need to take down ghosts. Because we got a witness <laughs> that's going to testify that he saw him kill Silver. <laughs> so, because at first I was like, I was like, eh. Ain't Drake did, but I forgot. We had to go back, going back, yeah, going back, yeah, going back to the to the uh, to the lead up, cause you know, say he was burnt to a crisp last week, but yeah, anyway, but he ain't did yet. We uh, get to the scene where finally Paz can pause. pause. We get to the scene. I'm gonna do a lot of editing. Mm, yeah, I see. Yeah, we get to the scene where pause is finally gonna get an opportunity to get some money because she. Uh, Take a step back. Her son kind of got because after she done ran all around the world trying to take down ghosts and everything she tried wouldn't work. She come back home crying. Her son hear her crying, and of course, us as sons, yes. we gonna want to protect our mama. You, you know, you ain't gonna do that to my mama and expect to get away with it. So she came home, y'all saw, and she put the gun and the, the wire of money up on the what you call it because you know she went to truth because she was really gonna kill ghosts. But I was like, I knew she wasn't gonna do it. Can we pause right here? How many times in this episode did y'all see Paws walking out in public, as Mike Me would say, all willy nilly, with this gun just <laughs> yes, yeah, all swinging all around like nobody paying so her no <laughs> mind. I said, if I see this gun one more time, I'm gonna be able to identify the serial number on it. Yeah, <laughs> I was so done. I was like, Courtney, you cannot yeah. try to pass this as being realistic. Yeah, for Cause, real. Cause somebody would have saw it. Even the way the pause is walking through true. Yeah. They're having a whole event and don't nobody peep. Yeah. And there's somebody coming through that looking suspicious as hell like that. Yeah, because she looked like she ain't had no sleep in, in, in four years. And then <laughs> Ramona was there. Mm -hmm. And Ramona, you know Ramona had her eye on him. Oh, yeah. After oh, she yeah. Don't told her, he always wins. He always win. They always get away. Yeah. And I was like, Ramona, are you just as grimy as he is? Exactly. So... The son goes in the room and takes the gun while she was asleep. Because he, he go and get ghosts. But she ended up stopping. She, I don't know how she found him. <laughs> Parents find their kids. Sometimes. Yeah, but she found him awful quick before he was getting ready to go pull the trigger. So that's when she went, got the gun from him, went in the truth. And she was getting ready to kill him. But she just couldn't do it. But shout out to the boy that played Junior. And I don't even know if they did this on purpose. But y'all remember... I think it was last year where the um, little boy, I call him a baby because he was a baby to me, Junior was murdered in um, New York by those gang members that, mm -hmm. that mistakenly identified him as another boy. That boy has the same kind of look that that boy had. His name was Junior. I don't know if it was coincidental or it was done on purpose, but I was like, shout out to Junior. May he rest in peace, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, for real, for real. Um, so... She couldn't kill him, which I knew she wasn't going to do it anyway. Because mm -hmm. she, and like you said, she, she was still all willy-nilly up in there, pulling the gun out. I mean, she had it out in front of all the people. You know you at the club and somebody pull out a gun, somebody mm -hmm. going to see it. <laughs> and everybody going to scat like roaches, man. But, uh, so, the next morning, wakes up on the news. They talk about ghosts being dead. Which... I'm, I'm still kind of confused of whether he did or not. I kind of believe it, but we know how Courtney is. She and we know how the news is. Yeah. The news will tell you that they done been murdered and all yeah. this, and then the next day be like, then they, you know, then they, then they was, turn up. Yeah, they turn up. They turn up not dead. <laughs> yeah. And so she raised up her son, Junior, wakes him up like, look, look, look. And she was like, I didn't do it. Because <laughs> he was like, I thought you told me you didn't. He was like, I didn't. Yep. So they ended up in this nice office. And I was like, where the hell are they at? 
They was at the attorney's office. Shout out yeah. to Jeffrey Owens. Yeah. Listen, when the, when the devil tried to take you down and try to embarrass you, yeah. you would just glow back up. Mm -hmm. They were trying to clown that man for working at Trader Joe's in an off season where his business won't, where acting won't actually be in good to him at that exactly. moment. Exactly. And he did what he had to do as a man. He went out to Trader Joe's, made him some money, and they trying to blast him all over the internet talking yep. about some look. He don't fall in all the way down to Trader Joe's. Now look at him. Y'all yep. don't expose them, and then people started picking him up and giving him gigs. Yeah. Shout out to you. Indeed. Because it's, it's a different word for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, she goes in the office, talks to him, and she was like, I don't want nothing from him. I said, here we go with this bullshit. I said, with You broke. You can't even put your daddy back in the yeah. nursing home. Your yeah. son can't go back to school. You pretty much don't talk your way and don't buck your way out of a whole yeah. lot of money. And now you still don't want nothing from it. Yeah. That's yeah. why I said, buck you. Yeah. I don't want nothing that she got. He was like. Grieve broke or grieve with some money. And the thing way, about I don't care. Think about it. And he left a check directly. To you. To her. And she didn't want to take it. So she going, I don't want nothing from him. She come busting out there. And Tasha see her. And Tasha was the one that had to convince her to take that check. Yeah. Yeah. Was like, you know what? You need to take that money. Ghost didn't kill Angela. Matter of fact, he loved Angela more than he ever loved me. I said, woo. And here when she dropped the bomb, I was like, oh, no, I said, Tasha, what you're not going to do is do that. He didn't kill her because Tommy killed her. Like. And I couldn't believe that she did that because I would, yeah. out of all the people that have kept a loyalty to each other, even yeah. when they get grimy, Tasha and Tommy never really went too far until Tasha killed Keisha. Yep. But my thing is, I think that that um, Tasha is putting pause on Tommy to keep Tommy off of her when he figured out that she killed his boo thing. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was like, why would you do that? Why would you, why would you rat that? your brother out like that? Yeah, I know and I he... thought about it, and I said, boom, you trying to make sure that because you know Paz is pissed off, pissed off enough, yeah, that she will pull the trigger on Tommy because yeah. of this. So hopefully Paz will get to Tommy before Tommy get to me. And which it was true, cause we saw her go back over to Tommy, banging the door, Tommy, Tommy, let me in, let me in, let me in. Boom. And he gone. He done moved out. <laughs> I'm like. In the hell the time he go that fast? She would just, you know, we don't never know what the days are. But did, but did Ghost leave time to some goddamn money? Because did, did we see Kate? We in did see Kate. Office? Yeah, we did see Kate. Yep, we sure enough saw Kate. So I was like, what the hell? Was I in that Ghost? Yeah. Did I need to come to the lawyer office and pick up me a check? Yeah. I got some pain and suffering too. Hell yeah, I've been watching you all these seasons. I've been watching the feathers on your back all these seasons. Yeah. You should give me set. Yeah, at least give me a cut, you know, one, two dollars, you know. Yeah. Shoot. So, we got three episodes left. We got five suspects, which I say is we still got Tariq, Tasha, Sax, Tate. No, wait. Tariq, Tasha, Sax, Tate, and I'm still missing one. Because, because and everybody say they think Ramona killed him. Blanca, I'm sorry. No, we Blanca was ruled out last. She year. was ruled out. So her and Dre gone. Um, yeah, her and Dre gone. So, so I don't know. Um, Paz is gone. Yeah, I, so I don't know. At first, then I was like, this Paz son did it, but he didn't do it. Um, yeah, because we couldn't wouldn't warn him because we didn't see Warner walking. I'm trying to remember everybody was they, walking. They said that Courtney said, and I don't follow Courtney like that because I think she talks too freaking much. Yeah, and I don't watch the um other show too. The what is it? The, I know what is it called? The one where they break down. Yeah, like that. I yeah. try not to watch that either. Power confidence. Confidential. Confidential. Yeah, because sometimes it just gives you too much and it just makes you stop trying to figure it out. Yeah. So they said that she said that whoever. We're going to say shot. We're not going to say kill. Shot Ghost was in that scene on the last episode before we got to this series of trying to figure out who killed Ghost. So it's definitely somebody within that lineup of who we yeah. saw walk up. So I'm like, Tommy? I'm still, I'm oh, Tommy, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> the main one we should be looking at. So yeah. yeah. But you yeah. notice that when um, Paz asked um, Tasha, did she do it? She didn't answer. 
No, she didn't. She did ever say that. Yeah, she just talked about you need to, um, you just need to take this money and, and and move on with your life. And we see that she did. And we know she had motive to do it because remember her and Tommy had been talking about this. The show is playing for a good little minute. Now. Yeah, they have. Mm -hmm. And now she down on the luck. Yep. What by the way, you don't love him no more. You know he don't love you no more. Exactly. It's all about the kids. Your son hate him. Yep. Lil Yaz, she probably don't know what the hell going on. She don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> she just, she just happened to have to be in the house with y'all. Because y'all just do too much. <laughs> but straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. Holla.